I'm Arnie Gunderson with Fairwinds Energy Education. In today's fast-paced internet news cycle, mainstream media in the U.S. and Japan are simply not doing their job. Last week, a serious typhoon named Itau hit eastern Japan, creating more flooding than has occurred in the last 50 years. Before the typhoon hit, Tokyo Electric, TEPCO, assured the Japanese people that the Fukushima Daiichi power plant site was safe. As the typhoon pummeled Japan, TEPCO admitted that it had failed to contain massive amounts of radioactivity. The drainage pumps at TEPCO's Fukushima Daiichi site failed, and radioactive water once again poured into the Pacific Ocean. In addition, TEPCO also admitted that bags of previously collected radioactive material from the decontamination project had also been washed away. Unfortunately, mainstream media have only quoted these early TEPCO press releases, claiming that typhoon-induced radioactive contamination was limited to a relatively small area on the Fukushima Daiichi site. Nothing could be further from the truth. The very mountainous region of the Fukushima prefecture was highly contaminated with significant amounts of radioactive isotopes from the triple meltdowns almost five years ago. Those of us who studied the disaster at Fukushima Daiichi have noted for years that an extraordinary amount of radioactive cesium, strontium, and other isotopes from these three meltdowns has spread hundreds of miles from the site of the disaster. Now, the rain that ravaged the east coast of Japan and created massive flooding has washed all of that radioactive material to new downhill locations. It's obvious to scientists who've mapped and studied Fukushima Daiichi's fallout that areas of Japan previously decontaminated have now become recontaminated. These recontaminated areas include villages and towns where people were evacuated almost five years ago when the disaster happened, and to which people have returned to live since the Japanese government has claimed that it's safe from radioactivity. Fairwinds has said it before, and will say it again, follow the money. TEPCO and the Japanese government do not want to reevaluate the radiation recontamination caused by Typhoon Itau's flooding because it will cost too much money. The cost to thoroughly clean up after this disaster is almost unimaginable, approaching half a trillion dollars. Spreading contamination into populated areas via the flooding is a significant health risk to the people of Japan. Why is Japan's government silent on this significant health issue? For the next 300 years, typhoon events like Itau will reoccur and will redeposit radioactivity on clean areas until all the radioactive releases during the Fukushima Daiichi catastrophe are finally washed away into the Pacific Ocean. This recontamination is not just found on the Fukushima Daiichi site, but from all the previously contaminated tributaries and rivers in the mountains that also enter the Pacific Ocean. The Fukushima Daiichi catastrophe is an ongoing tragedy for the people continuously exposed to such radioactive releases, both in Japan and on the west coast of the United States. It's time for the mainstream world media to hold TEPCO and the Japanese government accountable for the health and welfare of people living in these radioactively contaminated areas. We at Fairwinds call on the Japanese government and TEPCO to evaluate the spread of radioactivity induced by Typhoon Itau and the dose impact to people living in these contaminated zones. I'm Arnie Gunderson for Fairwinds. We'll keep you informed.